So what's happening, everybody? Just want to take a few minutes to talk about my bullpup, my TriStar Arms, compact tactical 12 gauge. As we can see here, So I've been asked, why did I go and buy the uh, TriStar Arms uh, Compact Tactical 12 gauge? Um, there's some videos out there, some people who have them, and I, I think they were less than satisfied. So even on that, I saw what could be uh, something very practical. Now understand, at a time that bullpups are kind of popping up everywhere, or have been popping up, you've seen them in the 12 gauges, uh, there's a, even a bullpup kit that I've considered for my uh, Scorpion. The nice thing about the bullpup, as anybody or everybody knows, I, I don't know, I mean, I am, I'm, I'm not acting like I've known this forever, but the benefit of the bullpup is the fact that you get a lot in a little. And what I mean is you get a lot more in a smaller space. So here, I still get an 18 and a half inch barrel, but I get it in a 30 inch overall. Now, the great thing about that is it still conforms, so it's still completely legal, but now I'm able to swing this, so it's, it's, it's a bit longer than my arm. Uh, the controls here, if you want to take a look, it's got your AK style safety selector. Uh, like I said, we got the bolt there, so we can, we can drop that. So as you can see, uh, one of the accessories that it comes with, let's start with uh, some of what comes in the box. I, I got to film that and get that later. But it comes with a handle. This handle is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's got a nice set of sights in it, I think. I mean, are they the greatest? Uh, it depends on what you're comparing it to. Uh, we're shooting a 12-gauge shotgun, so I'm not shooting a precision rifle. Uh, mostly for home defense, maybe for a little bit of fun. But typically, this is going to be to hit the target that is probably in front of me. Um, and they work well for that. They're adjustable, windage, uh, elevation. Um, it's just nice overall. So it comes with this handle. It also comes with a set of, I guess, knockoff uh, Magpul uh, backups. Real nice. Still got the same action, except these you can kind of pinch. It's got a uh, pinch and slide, so it's not a, a really solid method of locking it down. So I don't know if I'd want to put these on anything else because they can still shake loose. But for what they are, they're uh, actually still pretty nice. They've got adjustments. But I didn't like how low I actually had to get to use those. So I didn't like the cheek weld of being down that low because this whole handle coming off is just the, uh, the pick rail below it. So I, I preferred the fact that I can come up a little bit higher and I have a better sight picture for me. Um, it comes with two uh, fa five round uh, I guess Sega style there's been some issues with some people saying that they uh, don't all feed but I guess there's a fix a modification I've got a 10 or 12 round I can't even remember on its way uh, we'll see um, so I'll hopefully be able to do that uh, it's got a spot here um, I'm using currently for a uh, vertical foregrip um, which mostly because it, it gives me the option, gives me a little more stability. Uh, this is nice. It also comes with a uh, an angled foregrip, but it feels kind of bulky. I like kind of minimal. I like to be able to wrap my finger around it, or you know what I'm saying, use it more of like a hand stop. Um, and that one is just it, it's I don't know. It's just it's just too much. I, I don't know. It's still new, so I haven't actually tried it in shooting. Um, I took it off. So then you got your sling mount. You got one here in the back as well. Um, it also comes with, this is a uh, Beretta Benelli uh, choke and the uh, choke tool. Um, I'm not an expert on chokes, so I forget which exactly this one is, but they can be switched out. Um, it's not universal, universal, but um, I guess there are some other options depending on what you're shooting uh, that you can use this for. So, you know, like I said, some people just didn't like it based on the fact that it's kind of uh, weird looking. Um, it's kind of like a modified AK uh, space gun kind of thing. 
I mean, it all makes sense. The air goes. I was unsure if I was going to like the plastic. But when you look at a lot of the polymer stuff that's out here, I mean, your actions and stuff are all metal. Um, it's still, it functions the way that I needed it to. And I've got some footage of me shooting it, unfortunately, with the ammo shortage, uh, rather than 50 rounds. Uh, it's a matter of about five, or a uh, matter of about 10. Um, another accessory, I said the two five rounds, the backups, and I'll take a picture of those and add them. Uh, it comes with this extra little handle. So this piece here, it's just, uh, actually it's on the other side, it just kind of locks into the handle and gives you an option because when holding, it is kind of awkward as far as trying to manipulate and rack it and lock, lock it back, which is, which is something we're going to talk about here in a minute. Um, so one of the things, another thing that a lot of people or a lot of one of the issues that some people complain about and when you look at the AR style uh, bull pups uh, they have to, they're, they're a little bit longer and the compact tactical is it's kind of odd I thought the name like compact tactical in a, in a 12 gauge but what they've done is they've eliminated uh, the option or the ability for the bolt to stay back so it doesn't have a bolt catch it doesn't have a follower inside so when you see the others uh, with the um, Panzer Arms uh, style, uh, they've got a little follower that comes up, and then that catches, and then that locks your uh, your bolt back. So that's one shortcoming. But it's a shotgun. So am I really doing tactical mag reloads if somebody's in my house? Uh, I hope not to be, but you know what I'm saying. So I mean, you trade off. But it gives me about an extra inch because I noticed that those are a bit longer. So that fact is what they've done is they've added this little button here. And so for some, we're going to demonstrate that, and I'll add that in here. But that little button takes away, because otherwise you'd have some mechanism, uh, pardon my French, that would uh, be able to manipulate that automatically. So like I said, the uh, AK style here. And what's kind of interesting is here I've noticed there's a another plate. Now there's a couple bolts that go in there, but which is even interesting how that even comes off. But this looks like a replaceable part because there is going to be some friction against that lever if you're actually using that safety lever. So that safety lever, what it does is stops, see? You see it's stopping that from going back so you can't rack it, um, nor can, when it's in safe mode, nor can you fire it, um, which is another benefit. So, I mean, overall it's nice, it's short, uh, I know some people that have had them. I've seen videos of them running clean and running fast. Uh, and it is exactly what I need is that ability. So I can get those five shots off fairly quickly. Um, on target, take care of what I have to. Beyond that, I would be transitioning to another weapon if I need. Because then this is going to be more of what uh, typical shotgunning would, uh, would be for me, I guess. Um, another issue that some people have had is that uh, people were saying that they didn't like and I thought I was going to hate is that you can't take a full magazine and load this with the bolt closed which kind of defeats the purpose so if I'm grabbing this and I want to keep this safe I grab it bam I got a full magazine I got to do some weird action and then trying to you know lock this back and you know that makes it kind of weird and then just try to get the magazine with the bolt open drop the bolt and go well I kind of demonstrated I'm still new with the mag, so finding the catch is a little bit different, but it is possible with five because there's still a little bit of room there to uh, be able to load that full magazine into a closed bolt, in which case you're not having to worry about uh, the bolt uh, open uh, button, if we want to call it. Um, you can just basically load that magazine, drop your safety, uh, rack it, and then you're ready to go because then it's loaded one, it's in battery, and it's ready to fire. Um, so for that case, it's ready to go with a hot five in the time that I need it to. So I like that. And that's one of the things that, you know, it, I thought as a trade off, but it's really not. So with that 10 round magazine, you know, we'll see how it feeds. I mean, that's going to be probably the issue if anything, but overall I do like it. I, uh, I won't say love. It's still brand new, but it's uh, doing what I needed to and how I needed to.
issues that uh, some people, I guess, had some people. One of the issues that some people, or one of the things that some people didn't like is the fact that to charge it, you know, with the AR style, some of them have uh, charging handles. So here you can go with your support hand and then go back in. I mean, this thing is kind of heavy, but it's still solid. I still have a good grip on it. It's still maneuverable. Um, it's not off balance. It's actually the butt stock kind of kind of wants to. It's, it's nice and e easy, easily maneuverable. Uh, but when you're going for that charging handle, so as you can see, breech still open. I got some no shells in there. Um, you're going back, so that's locked. So when you go to do, you've got to get your finger in there and pop that open. Well, that would be a hassle if you're trying to do, you know, a speed reload and then have to drop it. So it's still able to grab a full magazine with the bolt closed. So in other words, running empty, and then if I needed to do a reload, grabbing another full magazine, loading it, dropping it, and going. You don't want to be so dramatic because you'll be too far off and it won't let you. But you kind of go in there and then you'll feel that spring. So what do I think of my TriStar Arms Compact Tactical 12 gauge? Honestly, I am very happy and very satisfied with my purchase. Uh, honestly, probably due to pandemic anemia, pandem uh, pandemic fever. And I don't say anything to or against the pandemic for, for however and whatever you have your beliefs. This isn't about that. But due to the pandemic, it has caused prices of a lot of our beloved items uh, to rise. And I'm not going into price gouging and stuff right now in this video. Maybe in something else. But due to those factors, things are going for more than they normally would. So... This was uh, probably a bit, maybe a touch more elevated than pre-pandemic. But with what it does, it was right in range for what the AR style, uh, the, the uh, Panzer Arms, uh, the Bull Pups, what those were going. I've got a buddy who got a Lander Arms right before I grabbed this. Well, actually he grabbed it a few months ago, right before I found this. Um, he, uh, I, I felt it and it felt great. I mean, it's it's all metal. Uh, it might be a little bit lighter. I, I don't know. I'd have to compare them side by side, and I think I'm going to get a chance. Uh, he's my uh, PCC buddy. He's got the um, Ruger um, PC charger, and we did a we were, were we're trying to do a comparison of that and my Scorpion. But anyway, back to these. So it it had a really nice feel, but it was stretched out in a C grip. You know, like more of like an AR style, and that's just not. It felt great. I mean, there's no reason not to want it, but in wanting both, I have a little more uh, functionality because I have a little more wieldability in a shorter package. So I like the look. At first, it looked kind of odd. Uh, I bought it online, so I wasn't sure quite what I was getting. I saw a few reviews, and like I said, some people had some failure to. Uh, ejects which basically was an issue with break-in uh, they have to be broken in once you get them you know they say uh, run it I think it's like 25 rounds of uh, heavier stuff you want to do that or what I did which first time out it ran great was manually just racked it I racked it dropped it racked it dropped it and you could feel kind of that grit in there I was going to open it up and polish it but you know, there's a bunch of but or a bunch of buttons. There's a bunch of screws to remove. So, on a new gun, I'm not ready to take that apart till I'm sure I can put it back together. So I was able to run it. It ran fine. Uh, everything ejected fine. Everything ejected clean, and uh, was good to go. So yeah, overall, I am very very happy with what I got.
Anybody else? You're not, but I'd say give it some time, rack it, uh, run some loads through it. This beast wants to shoot. It likes it. Because even with the rounds that I shot, I was surprised that it was as manageable as it was. So I, I took a few steps. You know, like I said, this is the first time with it. And I was comfortable because it wasn't rocking me because where the center of gravity and where it's moving is totally in the body. So it's, I mean, it's, it, it's like an SBR and don't, don't, uh, don't misunderstand me as saying, cause yeah, there's some ATF agent or somebody out there. Well, what do you think? But it's in, in a sense, it's got that, that short ability. Like I said, 18 and a half inch barrel, but, uh, 30 inches overall, um, can't beat it. Uh, you know, if you can find them, get it. If not, stick with what you got, but I like mine. Peace, guys. Common misnomers that you can't load a magazine into it. Loaded.